Today, we are taking a look at the inventory system in the game, which is a radical departure from the first Red Dead Redemption and GTA V. Gone are the days of storing 15 rifles in your back pocket. In Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar has opted to make managing the inventory in this game its own little challenge. Arthur will only be able to hold a maximum of two large weapons and two small weapons at a time, in addition to some other smaller key items. To me, this sounds like a very interesting direction to take the game, and I think it's pretty obvious that the difficulty of the game and its combat will increase as a result. According to people who have played the demo, every weapon that Arthur carries will be visible on his body at all times. So, what exactly makes up Arthur's inventory? Well, I think we can expect a ton of weapons in the final game, of course, but from what's already been shown, we've seen a variety of 1890s era revolvers and rifles, which count as small weapons and large weapons respectively. Another large weapon that we've got a pretty solid look at so far is the bow, which is primarily used for hunting animals, but can also be used on human enemies as well. Finally, we've seen some of the other smaller items that Arthur can carry as well, such as his bandana, which can be used to disguise your face and take the heat off when you have a wanted level. We also have Molotov cocktails, throwing knives, a dagger for killing hunted animals, a lasso, binoculars, and a camera. Now, despite the added difficulty and pressure from only being able to carry such a limited amount of weapons, there seems to be a couple of ways to make combat easier in the game. First of all, weapons are highly customizable, and you're able to enhance various stats on each weapon. It may be wise to choose two or three weapons that you really like, hold on to them for most of the game, and just upgrade the crap out of them. However, the best way to overcome this tricky inventory system comes from your trusted steed. In addition to carrying the carcasses of hunted animals, your horse can hold everything else that Arthur doesn't have the space to carry. As far as I can tell from the impressions, it seems like your horse has an infinite amount of storage, so changing between weapons depending on the situation should not be too difficult as long as you keep your horse nearby. Your horse can even pick up items that you drop. Indeed, Arthur can actually lose his hat over the course of the game, or have one of his weapons shot out of his hand. Should this happen to you, the items will reappear in the horse's inventory. Neat! There is one important thing you should remember though, and it's the fact that your horse can actually die permanently in this game. While I haven't seen any specific confirmation of this, I think it may be possible that you lose everything in the horse's storage when it dies. So, the key is to be careful. If you're going into a shootout against a rival gang, maybe don't gallop in there like a hero and leave your horse vulnerable to bullets. Should you accidentally do this, you can tell your horse to flee in order to save its life. Being able to effectively swap items between you and your horse's inventory is going to be key if you want to quickly and effectively clear some of the tougher challenges the game presents. And that's about it for today. It's going to be tough to have so few weapons on my person compared to past Rockstar games, but I think I'm up to the challenge. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at...